Hey, what's up, everyone? AJ's my name, the Thwip side's my game, and my dad jokes are lame. <laughs> but anyway, I am super excited to take a look at the Marvel Legends Gamerverse Miles Morales Spider-Man. Quickly going over packaging, here you see the standard Marvel Legends Gamerverse packaging with the white Spider-Man Miles Morales. Big window and miles and everything he comes with. The Build-A-Figure piece. Artwork from the game on both sides. Spider-Man logo. Whoop. And the, more artwork from the game. Little bio. Uh, everybody else that comes in the wave to build. Armadillo. And Mumbo Jumbo on the bottom. I'm not waiting any longer. I've been waiting for this guy and excited for this guy. I wanted to say I, this insert did catch my eye. Most inserts really don't. In the packaging but i think that spider with the electrical venom power effect is really cool. as always we're going to take a look at miles's accessories first and really happy with these so we'll go through those first off uh leg to build armadillo not really going to go in detail about that when i finally track down the rest of the figures i'll build him we get a miles head unmasked head is really cool and one thing hasbro maybe hasbro's listening here on miles already we have thwip hands we have a set of wall crawling hands there's one there's two and we have a set of fists so really awesome. Like I said, maybe Hasbro's listening to the fans who say every Spider-Man should have all those hands. And another cool addition, they kept the hands rolling. He has the Venom Strike hands, which is awesome. So yeah, super ex uh, excited about these accessories. Happy that they've included all of these. <laughs> nitpick time maybe being nitpicky but i'd also like to see spider-man come with a web but we got the hands on this guy not gonna complain taking a look at miles himself i think he came out really cool especially for spider-man suit suits are awesome to me but just for a black and red suit i think they did a really good job all the lines and this red trim here and all the red webbing is sculpted i believe it feels so like it all is the spider came out really good the paint's really clean i do have a small tiny dot try to get into focus i don't think you'll be able to see it because the light um and his eye a little black dot which is kind of a shame but not a deal breaker i know that happens um as far as the rest of the black suit there's all these like armory techie detail going down the arms throughout the whole body and there's a texture to all the plastic and then of course you got the red fingers that came out clean the paint's really clean except for that dot um sculpted spider again on the back more lines just give you an overall view i mean just besides that it's black with techie detail with a little some red but I like how it's all textured too. Like I said, more red trim on the bottom of the feet. I have trouble getting my camera focused. So yeah, I think he came out really cool looking. I also wanted to note, full disclosure, uh, the only other miles I have is the Marvel Legends Into the Spider-Verse. So I'm not sure if any of this is reused from previous miles. So that's why I did not note that because I can't say either way. Going over articulation, it's pretty good. A lot of standard Spider-Man uh, fare, but you can get his head up that far, look down that far, some nice rotation, great tilt. He's got the butterfly joint. You go back, forward, arm goes up that far, maybe a little farther. This one other thing I'll comment while I'm doing on while I'm doing the articulation is I have complained recently about the gumminess. Of Marvel Legends joints it seems like they're really uh, gummy and 
a lot of times felt like they were going to break. You don't get this on this guy. He is he came out of the package, the joint's tighter than usual, but you don't get that feeling like you're going to snap something or it's cheap, which is fantastic. Did I say bicep swivel? Um, that one's a little stuck, so I'll do this one until I free it. Double jointed elbows that go up real far. Wrist hinge. And they go side to side. Yep, there they go. They are a little stuck. Um, you get a great ab crunch. It goes, crunches that much. Arcs back really far. You get waist articulation. His legs go out almost all the way. I wish they could go out just a little more and you get that full Spider-Man range. But that's pretty good. Upper thigh swivel kick out far back just a tad and you get awesome double jointed knees they go all the way up and kick it back like i said that's the tightness which i'm happy about that is not a gripe you get the pivot and forward that much on the ankle back that much so yeah a lot of great posability on this guy for a Spider-Man figure. Almost nailed the whole thing, except for just a tad bit more. Well, actually, I did get it to go a little more than that than I originally. But yeah, so really happy with the articulation. He can do almost everything a spider can. <laughs> line for me is that I really love this Game Reverse Miles Morales figure. Um, the accessories he comes with are awesome. You can get him in a lot of great poses, and I'm glad when I said he can do everything a spider can, mostly because you, I cannot get him to get into a pose where his wall crawling hand is touching the ground. I'm going to try to work on it, but I don't think that's achievable. I could be wrong at this point. I'll mess around with him more because originally for this final shot, I wanted to have him down more with this hand touching the ground and his venom effect up higher in a cool pose i couldn't really get it to make it look look decent but he does have a lot of posability without that it is kind of a shame i know a lot of the marvel legends i don't think i besides the new body spider-man i don't think i can get any of them in that pose i could be wrong haven't played with a lot of them in a while but Speaking of the new Spider-Man body, would it have been cool to see him on that new body? Yes, but I can understand why they didn't do that. Um, one of the gripes about that body are the legs are a little too bulky. And Miles is a teenager and they always go for a thinner aesthetic with him. So I can understand why they didn't use that body. But who knows, maybe down the line they will have an updated Miles body. We, we shall see. But anyway... Really happy with the figure. Couldn't can't say enough about it. Finally have another Miles in my collection. I highly recommend him. And with that being said, drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, please subs consider subscribing. Don't forget my giveaway at 100 subs. Gunslinger Spawn Target Exclusive and Gunslinger Spawn Number 1 Comic. And that'll about wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to thwip that notification bell, and I will catch you guys all right back here very soon on the thwip side. Later.